Oh, I'm so delighted today with this story. The PG era of Raw is over. Andrew Zarian of the Met Men Podcast, our own Andrew Zarian, reported Thursday Raw will be moving from a TV PG rating to TV 14, beginning with next Monday's episode. July 18th, Raw will have a TV 14 rating moving forward on USA. The PG era is over. Raw first moved from TV PG to TV 14 in 1997. The program shifted back to TV 14 in July of 2008. SmackDown has been TV PG since its first episode on August 26, 1999. TV parental guidelines describe a TV 14 program as one that contains some material that many parents would find unsuitable for children under 14. TV PG contains material that parents might find unsuitable for younger children. Raw's in Tampa, Florida. Why am I so delighted, you ask? Well, I'm delighted that finally, finally, I'm going to have to stop hearing about this. Because I've heard about this for years. The problem is that this show is TVPG. And I'm sure you're all well aware that my belief is that the problem is not that this show is PG. I think some people think that now that it's TV-14, we're going to go back to the Attitude Era, and it's going to be hot and... Bros, do we honestly think this? I don't know if anyone actually does think this, but it seems like people do. Here's the deal, everybody. Did you watch Raw on Monday night? Did you watch the last... Let's just throw out a couple of things. Did you watch that segment where uh, the Street Profits are out there and the Usos, and they need a referee... And then R Truth comes out, he has a bunch of bad comedy, and they go back and forth. Would that have been better if somebody would have dropped an S bomb? Would that have made that segment better? When you watch that show and it's uh it's ten thirty two and the main event's gonna start, and then there's an entrance, and then another entrance, and then a commercial, and then a video package, and then another entrance, and then a commercial, and they start the match, and four minutes later there's a commercial. And so in 30 minutes, you get seven minutes. So is the show going to be better if someone, like, swears during that uh, that period? When you watch Dynamite, if you're a fan of Dynamite and you don't like Raw, have you ever heard someone say, you know why I like Dynamite? They swear twice an hour. Both hours. What are you guys expecting when the show goes TV 14? Do you think that they're going to go back to, like, you know, the women are going to come out and they've got pasties on and, you know, people are going to be... Cutting themselves left and right and bleeding all over. Is that what you're expecting when they go TV-14? So I'm glad that it's finally going TV-14. So that everyone will see it's going to be basically exactly the same show. Whatever you liked about it is going to be essentially the same. Whatever you didn't like about it is going to be essentially the same. We're not going back to the 90s. It's not going to be ECW. It's going to be the same show. They're just probably going to swear a little bit more. The blood was never an issue of TVPG. Never. And as noted in this in this uh, this article here, you know, people romanticize about the Attitude Era and everything. Well, you know, SmackDown, when it was The Rock show, and The Rock was there, and he's talking about Strudel, and he's flipping his hips and doing all that crazy stuff with Hunter and everything. That, that was TVPG. That was a TVPG show. Do you guys remember after the uh, invasion, when the invasion crashed and burned, and this whole thing went off the rails, and the show just kind of went into the... They lost millions of viewers over the course of, like, five years. You realize the show was TV-14 at that point. They still lost all those viewers. It still sucked. Because it, when it's good, it's good because it's good. And when it sucks, it sucks because it sucks. And TV-14 and TVPG has nothing to do with it. I know people go, oh, it's a show for children. Bro, they're not trying to write this show for children. If you think that they're trying to write Raw for children, what's actually happening is you don't understand that they think that you, a 48-year-old person, has the mentality of a child. They're writing the show for children. or for, for They're writing for you, not for children. Children aren't watching this show. Children watched the show when Sable was coming out and she had paint on her boobs. That's when kids were watching this show. They don't watch the show now when it's supposedly a kid's show. The show is written like that because they think you have the mentality of a child. You can't figure this out unless you're spoon-fed. This is not a show for children. That's not why it's TVPG. That was all for advertisers. So anyway, it's going to TV14. Uh, maybe like it's going to explode in popularity and do all this crazy stuff and people are going to fall off things and bleed in it. But I would not hold your breath if that's what you're expecting.
it's going to be the same show. And you're just going to hear a few more naughty words. Maybe that'll turn the ship around. You can just hear all those naughty words with you every couple of days here on this Don't program. Don't get me started. Couple hey, you know this guy notes? You know what Mushroom Man 674 notes? <laughs> What's goes, that? He says, in 2003, remember everyone's favorite period of SmackDown? It was SmackDown 6, 2003 SmackDown? Yeah. And it was miles better than Raw? Yeah. Yeah, well, SmackDown was the PG show, and Raw was the TV 14 show. Huh, how about that? And who was running SmackDown and doing the creative at that time? Do you remember? I don't know if Paul Heyman was completely doing creative, but he was involved. But he was, you know, one of the point men for that until all that stuff with he and Stephanie and the phone calls and all that stuff. And then he ended up leaving there for a little while. But uh, I I agree with you. I, there's no I, I mimic everything that you say that way, because at the time all of this was going on, you had The Undertaker, you had The Rock, you had Triple H, you had Mick Foley, you had all of these people on the come up. Wrestling was red hot and you had a whole lot of big stars. And look, Jade Cargill coming out and telling Tony to cut the S, I mean, that made the show better. That's exactly. I mean, it, it, in some ways, it like it juxtaposes the show where it's like, was that even needed? And it's part of her deal. And that's why they want to make it part of her deal. So I guess it is. But it's like, OK, great. So Seth drops an S bomb on Cody or they do something like just. Okay, uh, we'll see what happens. I'll see what the content is. I'll see how they decide to do things. But if it's just, you know, we're going to be more sexually, you know, suggestive and it's just going to be more cursing for the sake of cursing. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's not going to make the show any better. It's not going to make anything improve. You might get people going, oh, you might get a viral video clip that comes out of it. But if the action isn't any good, if the stories aren't any good, if people aren't really into it, what does it really matter? And it just, this is a marketing thing and they want to, oh, shock and hey, get some eyeballs. I don't know what it is, but I, again, with it being TV 14, if it was TVR, TVMA, whatever the hell it is, it's not going to make it a better product unless what you have on the screen is better, period. Sangha versus Lee stands on Lee's chest when she's down, thanks her, uh, her on the apron. Pull, um, puts elbow on her chin, threw her out of the ring. You know, it doesn't really matter a lot in 2022, Granny, but uh, no. Lee, in fact, identifies as a man. <laughs> Legend time, versus woman. Perez. That was another NXT. Can you believe the little guy beat him? He beat Legend. A that. little guy? It's now small. Roxanne Perez is a man? Yeah. Roxanne. <laughs> no. no, these were two women. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, Granny. you got to be kidding me today. God. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.